Hello everyone, hope you are learning well. So in this video, we'll discuss the last problem of lead code weekly contest 342. It's a media event problem. The problem name is minimum number of operations to make all array elements equal to one. So you are given a zero index integer array nums consisting of positive integers. You can do the following operation any on the array any number of times. What is that operation? Choose an index i such that i lies between zero to n minus one and replace either of nums of i or nums of i plus one with their GCD value. Return the minimum number of operations to make all elements of nums equal to one. If it is impossible, return minus one. The GCD of two integers is the greatest common divisor of two integers, right? For example, this is my array. I have to make all the elements of this array equals to one. So what I can do, I can choose these two elements. GCD of these two elements is one. So I start with two, six, three, four, I choose these two elements and I replace four with one. So it becomes two, six, three, one. Now again, I take these two elements. I replace three with one now. So it becomes two, six, one, one. Then I again take two, these two elements. I replace this with one. Then finally, I take these two elements. I replace it with one. How many operations? One, two, three, four. So two, six, three, four, change to two, six, three, one, then two, six, one, one, then two, one, 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 and then one 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 so one two three four operations hence four is your answer right what about this one so i have four elements so irrespective of whatever combination you choose you can see that you will not be able to come up with uh, a configuration where every element becomes one right hence your answer is minus one in this case if i talk about the constraints then the number of elements that i have is less than equals to 50 and each element can be can go up to 10 raised to power 6 right now let's start with basics here what we were doing we were trying to find two elements two adjacent element whose gcd is one now suppose in my array suppose my array is three six four one something like this right if my array is this where i have at least one at least a one right so what i can do i can choose adjacent elements right now gcd of one with any number will give you one only so you convert it into one then again you can do it then again you can do it so what I mean to say, if you already have a one in your array, right? So making all the elements equals to one will be possible, right? Will be possible. I'm not saying that if it is not there, it won't be possible. But if there is one, it is possible, right? Now, if you have a couple of ones, like for example, three, six, one, one, two, something like this, then how many operations you need? These two elements are already one. In one operation, you, ca you can convert a non one element into one, right? So this is one operation then this is one operation this is one operation so what i mean to say if you have ones in your array so your answer will be number of elements minus the number of ones that you have right minus the number of ones if you have zero ones then we'll go to other algorithm but even if you have a single one okay you will be able to do it and it will be the number of operations will be the number of elements in the array minus the number of ones because the numbers which are already one you don't need to convert it right and all the other numbers will take one step each to convert to, to to transform into one right so n minus one so just see this is a function to calculate gcd and what i have done here just see this code i have calculated the number of ones and if the count of one is greater than zero i return n minus count okay that's what i do now if there is no one in my array if there is no element equals to one in my array what can i do for example in this case i had two six three four right i had two six three four what i will do I will try to convert one element, any one element into one, right? Suppose I convert this element into one. Okay. Now, as soon as I convert this element into one, the other elements can be converted into one in n minus one steps, right? Because suppose this element to convert this element into one, I took X steps. Okay. If I convert this element into one in X steps, then I can convert the remaining elements in three more steps or n minus one steps. So in that case, my answer will be x plus n minus one, right? This is what I'll do. So if for every number, if for every number, this is just a brute force solution. If for every number, suppose I calculate how many steps will this number take to convert it into one, right? So I choose every number as the first number to be converted into one. So if this is, so suppose whatever is the answer here, I will add n plus n minus one. Then again, I'll calculate for this one that how many steps do I take to convert this into one? Suppose this is the first number that I convert into one. So how many steps does this take plus n minus one? Similarly for this n minus one plus n minus. So for every number, if I find what are the what is the minimum number of steps to convert that into one? Okay, 
I can obviously return the min of them, right? Now comes the question, how do I convert a number into one? Or how do I know that whether or not it is possible to convert a number into one and what is the minimum number of steps, right? So just see here, if I want to convert two, this is two, six, three, four. I want to find the minimum number of steps to convert this into one. Okay. What I can do? I can start from here because I am doing operations in adjacent numbers, right? I, I choose these two elements, right? So the GCD of these two elements is two. Okay. Then for these two GCD is two, then I'll, I'll select the current GCD and the next element that is two and three. The GCD comes out to be one. So because I'm, I'm allowed to choose only adjacent elements, right? And I have to convert this into one. So just see, it took one and two steps to convert this element to one or to get GCD equals to one. So that means if I have a combination of two, six, three, and if I want to convert this number into one, I have to, I need two steps, right? One step, two step, getting it. So all I need to do is I need to start from here and I need to find the GCD. Keep on finding the GCD of this sub array. As soon as my GCD becomes one, then that means this element can be converted into one. And what is the minimum number of steps? Suppose this is index number I, this is index number J. So this is J minus I, right? This, this, these steps, right? One step, two steps for three elements, right? These are three elements. So it will be three minus one, right? Or J minus I, this is the number of steps. I've done the exactly same thing. I start with a max value, then just see i equals to zero i less than an i plus plus current gcd is zero so for every i i'll find out that what is the number of steps uh, that i have to take to convert the ith element into one okay j starts from i j less than and j plus plus current gcd is gcd of whatever your gcd you've got till now and nums of j okay if that value becomes equals to one so you update your current length current length equals to math dot min of current length comma j minus i plus n minus one this j minus i is to convert ith element into one and this n minus one is as soon as the ith element becomes equals to one i can convert all the remaining elements to one in n minus one steps that i've already told you here right so you can do this for all the elements and finally whatever is your minimum value you return it right current length will have the minimum value right so after after this loop is over you have calculated the minimum number of steps for all the values the current length will have the minimum number of steps eh? hence and then finally you check now if that was not possible my current length value will be equals to max value only right because this is what we, i initialized it with right because as when gcd becomes one then only you update current length right so if your current length equals to integer dot max value you return minus one else you return current length right right this is the this is the main thing right so yeah that's it for this solution the main trick here was that we want we had to find the minimum number of steps to convert one element into one if you already have a one in the array not an issue you take n minus the number of ones the number of steps to convert all the elements into one however if that is not there you have to convert you have to find the minimum number of operations to convert any one element into one right and then return your answer right so i i hope you learn something new from this video do support it by giving up a thumbs up do subscribe to the channel in case of any queries mention that in the comment section i'll revert on each one of them thank you take care bye bye